Hey guys, it's Niche, and today, really quickly, I'm gonna try to keep this video like under five minutes because y'all know I talk too dang on much. Um, um, the next couple of videos that I roll out are gonna be videos of like the most frequently asked questions, the things that I hear the most. Um, I just wanted to do, you know, videos to kind of address those. So, this video is all about color. Um, one of the things that I hear the most is how I keep my hair healthy, my clients' hair healthy, um, when I'm coloring, and what I do to maintain my hair to make sure that it stays in healthy condition post color right so first things first i am a licensed cosmetologist so it starts with understanding like i know a lot of people think well i watch youtube i saw this i can do it no like color is legitimately a science so you really need to know what you're doing um if you don't know what you're doing you need to find someone that does know what they're doing um not just my cousin be doing it up in the kitchen um and no shade to kitchen tissues because i did it for a long time but again i just make sure you go to somebody that knows what they're doing or you know what you're doing and not just YouTube talking. There. So for me, it starts with the way that you color your hair. Um, there are a plethora of options. Um, everybody's canvas is going to be different. You can't do the same things to everybody. My hair is extraordinarily fine. So I have to be very careful um, when doing anything with color or heat with my hair because I'm very susceptible and prone to damage. So the first thing I start off with is like a bond agent. So there are several out there, um, Olaplex being one of them. The one that I am currently using is Bond Angel right so what you do is it's, it's a it's a system and you got one two and three so part one you put in with your lightener or color and it will kind of dull down the developer that you're using but it helps to reconstruct the bonds of the hair as it's the, as they're being broken down it's pushing protein back in there then step two is like a reconstructor you put that on after the color is finished and then step three is a fortifier and it's what you continue to use post color just to re-strengthen your hair and get it back where it needs to be something like this is super duper important I use Olaplex anytime I use lightener. Um, I will sometimes add it to color just depending on the canvas that I'm working with. But again, you need to go to somebody who understands these things and uses something like this to protect your hair. Post color, um, I, I can't stress it enough. Protein, 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 protein. Anytime that you color or use heat or anything like that, it's attacking the protein bonds in your hair because your hair is like 98% protein, right? So anytime that you do something that alters the protein balance of your hair, you want to go in and fix that. So about once every six to eight weeks, depending on what my hair tells me it needs, I do a very heavy protein treatment. Um, I like to use hydrolyzed wheat protein because the bonds in that are small enough to penetrate the hair shaft and it mimics... Um, it mimics the uh, the natural proteins of your hair and unlike something like Apogee which I'm not shading because I have used Apogee and it does do its job but unlike Apogee it's not going to make your hair hard because it's wheat um, hydrolyzed wheat it's only going to take what it needs so your hair is not going to absorb the extra protein because I know a lot of people say when they do the two set two-step protein treatment their hair feels really really hard even though that's what protein is it's the strength of the hair you're supposed to use a nice moisturizer but if you're afraid of Apogee for that reason or you've had negative experiences, I totally get it. Get you some hydrolyzed wheat protein, mix it in with your favorite conditioner, give yourself a nice protein treatment. Um, if you do not have color, you can still do this. I would do it much less, probably every three months or so, um, but I do mine about every six, seven weeks, somewhere in there. Um, between those, I am always giving my hair protein. I shampoo with um, Apogee's uh, texture, textured hair wash I don't have a bottle right now because I just used it up but it has protein in it um, so I do shampoo with that the texture treatment is one of my favorite um, 
light protein treatments it's protein and moisture i also like the joyco k-pack deep penetrating reconstructor it is one of my favorites i also use the Afigy curlific um gel in my hair because it has protein in it i just give it a nice little dose of protein but i give it a nice protein moisture balance to try to just get it back to where it's supposed to be so those things are all super duper important um the way that you get your hair colored and the after color treatment makes all the difference in the world color is not the devil it's not going to necessarily break your hair off you just have to know what you're doing so those are like my really quick tips and tricks on healthy coloring of your hair if you have any more questions or if you want like specific things answered i can try to answer them for you drop them down below and i will be with you guys in the next video have a good peace